Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us for the News 12 Fastcast. I'm Nick Proto. It's 11.50 on our Monday, June 17th. Tomorrow's election day for a few local runoff races, the big one being the Richmond County Sheriff's race. Sheriff Richard Roundtree looking to keep his seat while challenger Eugene Brantley looks to win it. Brantley had a news conference this morning and our Sydney Hood was there. It's the day before the Georgia primary runoff elections and both Richmond and Columbia counties are gearing up to greet voters at the polls. One of the most talked about races in Richmond County is the sheriff's race. It's the question of who is going to be the next top cop. Will it be the incumbent of 12 years, Richard Roundtree, or will there be a new face? And that new face we're talking about is Eugene Brantley. That's the big question folks are talking about right now. We're going to be talking with both candidates today ahead of election day tomorrow, getting any last messages from them to voters. So be sure to tune into this story all new on News 12 at 6 o'clock and we'll have the latest coverage on election day tonight and into tomorrow. All right, thanks, Sid. And here's a look at all the races we've got in Richmond County. We've got the sheriff's race and superior court judges race in Columbia County. There's the House District 131 race. Poll is going to be open from 7 to 7 tomorrow. For more information, you can head to our website, WRDW.com. Tall grass causing problems for some Augusta neighbors. They say the city usually comes out a few times a year to cut it, but now neighbors are having to call and ask them to come out. Our Julius Evans is out this morning talking with neighbors and hoping to get answers from the city. Today, I am checking in with residents in Augusta about their complaints and concerns about overgrown grass and vegetation on lots of land owned by the county. I plan on reaching out to commissioners today to pinpoint what's going on with the slowdown and the holdup and what's the solution behind making sure that these plots of land are upkept. Stay tuned to News 12 to learn more. All right, thanks, Julius. We are less than one month away from one of the biggest basketball tournaments of the summer. Some of the nation's top high school basketball players will be in North Augusta for the 2024 Peach Jam Tournament. Alyssa Lyons gives us a little preview. In just under a month, dozens of the country's best and brightest young basketball stars will descend upon here at Riverview Park to compete in Peach Jam. It's a 10-day event this year. It goes from July 12th to the 21st. Riverview Park has been trying to keep up with the demand of the fans over the last couple of years because there's been so many who have come through these doors to go and see a big basketball game. They've actually had to pump more money into the facilities to keep up with it. I'll have more on this coming up all new on News 12 at 6 p.m. Okay, thanks, Alyssa. New this morning, the Richmond County Coroner's Office is investigating the death of a 53-year-old man. Officials say Edward Goins died Saturday around 1 p.m. at a local hospital. Coroner Mark Bowen says the shooting happened Friday on Waterside Drive. Three people accused of stealing thousands of dollars worth of baby formula. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office says they got a call about shoplifting at Walmart on South Bel Air Road. They found and arrested a 21-year-old Angel Presa Gonzalez, 20-year-old Jose Salvador, and 22-year-old Dolce Tovar Sanchez. Officials say the trio was caught on video stealing from at least five local stores, totaling more than $3,000 in stolen formula. In Augusta, fire crews responded to a house fire Saturday on Edson Drive. That's off of Barton Chapel Road. Officials say no one was home, but four pets were found dead inside. A firefighter also had a minor injury. Crews say the homeowner has been put in contact with the Red Cross. A suspicious death investigation is starting in Richmond County. The coroner says officials found a homeless man dead in the woods. He says the coroner's office responded near the Bobby Jones Expressway eastbound ramp at Windsor Spring Road. The man's name will be shared once a positive ID has been made and an autopsy has been scheduled. Over the weekend, the Richmond County coroner says a man was found dead in a Dollar General parking lot. The sheriff's office says their deputies went to Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard for a suspicious situation early Saturday morning. That's when they found a 28-year-old Elias Delk. Both the coroner and sheriff's office said it looked like he may have died from blunt force trauma. An autopsy has been scheduled. The Waynesboro Police Department is asking for your help finding this missing 17-year-old. Dawson Holly was last seen May 21st around 2.30 on Pine Needle Road. This is the second time he's gone missing in just the past few months. If you know where he is, call the Waynesboro Police Department. For the first time ever, Merriweather Fire Department is hosting a summer camp. This two-week-long camp will teach kids how to become a firefighter, medical responder, and more. Audra Dickerber is talking with firefighters on the importance of this camp. 
I'm getting ready to go speak with the Meriwether Fire Department about their first ever summer camp that they're holding this year. It's two weeks long and they actually partnered with DNR, EMS, Augusta Regional Airport. A lot of these organizations that can really teach kids about what it's like to be in a first responder situation and what that looks like or what that could look like for them if they wanted to do it in the future. And they'll also be discussing a lot of topics regarding safety as well. So whenever it comes to fighting fires, whenever it comes to how to respond in certain situations that maybe they might not have ever been in before while also keeping things fun and giving them something to do this summer. So we'll have more for you later on in the newscast. So stick around. All right. Thanks, Audrey. The Juneteenth celebrations continue this week. On Wednesday, leaders in Augusta plan to host the Juneteenth Festival and Yamoja Village in Aiken County will host a celebration at Eudora Farms Wildlife Safari Park in Sally from 10 to 2. 2K Cuts and Styles is giving back to our community to help those in need. The event will be at Miracle of Faith Ministry from noon to 4. There's going to be clothes, shoes, free food as well, so don't want to miss that. That's going to do it for the News 12 Fastcast. News 12 at Midday starts in less than 4 minutes. Until then, here's a look at your 7-day forecast. Thanks for watching.